All right, so our, my goal in this video is to show you how to calculate root mean square error um, in Microsoft Excel. All right, so what we're looking at here specifically is root mean square error for uh, like a georeferencing process where you have an error in the x and y directions to get RMSEX, RMSEY, and then you can combine those to get the total RMSE. Um, so these could basically would represent coordinates in the x and y directions. I just made the numbers up so they're not really like representative of some like geographic or projected coordinate system. Okay, so in this example, the correct x and the correct y represent the actual correct locations for uh, or coordinates for um, some sample points. And then the predicted x and predicted y represents where the points ended up after the georeferencing process. Right, so this is what was predicted to be the x-coordinate, this was the actual x-coordinate. This was predicted to be the y-coordinate, this is the actual y-coordinate. Okay, so instead of doing this all in one cell, I'm going to do it in pieces so it's more obvious like the, the process you would go through. Okay, so what we're going to need to do first is calculate the difference between the predicted and correct x and y values. So I'm just going to call that the residual. So we'll do residual x and then residual y. Oop. Okay, so to get that difference, we can just simply take the correct and subtract from it the predicted. So x, x, y, y. And we pull that formula through. Then we get the differences. So those are all the differences um, in whatever units, let's say it's meters, for those uh, those five x co x coordinates, and then for y, it's the same thing. You would just simply take the correct y and subtract from it the predicted y to get a difference, and then pull the formula through to get back um, all the answers. Okay. Um, the next step is to square each of these. So note that we could have done like predicted y minus correct y or correct y minus predicted y. It doesn't matter because we're going to square it and you're going to get back the absolute value. So the, the, the way you calculate the residual is correct minus predicted or predicted minus correct isn't really important. So we'll do, we'll, we'll call it rx squared, so residual x squared. And we'll expand that a little, and then re and then r y squared. And again, you could have done all this in one cell. I'm just trying to show you the steps. So to do this, we'll simply do is equal to the x residual squared, and the carrots the the mean squared in this case. And note that we're gonna all, we'll get positive values now for all of these because taking the square of a negative or positive is gonna give you back a positive. And then the same thing for the y, take the value and then, and then square it, pull that through. Okay, so those are our residuals there. Okay, so next step is to get the RMSE in the x direction and the y. So I'm gonna call this our RMSE and to calculate that, we're simply going to sum all of these values and then divide by the total, with, or the, the number of samples, sorry, which is five, so five samples. And we also need to take the square root of that, so it's just the square root function. And we'll wrap that whole thing in the square root function. and enter. Okay, so that's that in the x direction. And then we can just pull this formula over and it'll just use these values, right? So this is the, the um, this would be the, the squares this in the, in the y direction. So this is effectively your RMSCX and your RMSCY. Um, and then again, this would be in the map units or whatever the unit measurement is. So if it's like meters, this would be off on average by like 0.9 meters and then in the x direction and nine meters in the um, y direction. Um, this is probably weird. You'd expect them to probably be closer, but again, this is just an example. And then to actually combine those into a total RMSE, what we would do there 
is simply take the square root of the RMSE x squared oops, plus RMSE y squared. And that gives us back the RMSC total, which takes into account both the x and y directions. Note that if you had like a three-dimensional coordinate, so you had like you know x, y, z, or you know nor easting, northing, and elevation, you could do the same thing with um, with three measurements. You just have to include the z. So again, this is how this is one way that we we assess the quality of our georeferencing results. Um, you might ask, well, what's a good number? Well, that really depends on the situation. So, for example, if we're dealing with images, we commonly want the, the, um, the RMSE to be smaller than the dimensions of a pixel. So, yeah, so if you have like a Landsat image with a 30 by 30 meter pixel, you'd want it to generally be less than 30. That's just a good rule of thumb.